What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with the Align TB60 bench review of the helicopter. So we're going to go over this model from top to bottom, front to back. So make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. We're going to start at the head, work our way down. So with the new TB series from Align, you get the all black, matte black head, which they did a great job with. You get a very thick, it's all CNC aluminum, milled out, very thick blade grip, removable blade grip arms that are bolted in with two bolts from the outside, your traditional 600 millimeter aligned carbon fiber blades, eight millimeter feathering shaft with a 10 millimeter main shaft. Then you have, of course, turnbuckles that are left and right handed thread. So official turnbuckles that are easily to adjust with your washout arms coming off the side. Two bolts going through the head. So you have a bolt this way and a bolt this way through the head block. Very simplistic head damper design. Just a rubber damper that goes inside of there. So you get a very rigid head and very simplistic on the assembly. Of course, thrust bearings on the outside. Coming down from your Mixer arms coming down to plastic linkage to your all aluminum swash plate with four mounting locations, working our way down to a Darlin thick anti-rotation bracket. So no aluminum, little flex to it, but it will allow for easy sliding up and down metal anti-rotation pin working our way down. And we have a carbon fiber canopy, great paint quality on the new Align helicopters. Canopy is a little thin for my personal opinion and liking, but the canopy itself is very nice as it is. Canopy mounts are push locks that already come pre-installed on the canopy. Now for getting your canopy off on the TB60, I have found the easiest way is to pop it loose in the back, come down here, pick it up, and kind of lift it up towards the head and slide it right off. The canopy comes off very simple and easy that way. Paint quality is great. You can see the inside of the canopy here. Again, carbon fiber, but it is a little bit thin. Not very happy with that, but you got a big opening here for your motor. So you get lots of cooling, no rubbing. And you also have vent holes right here in the canopy that goes right to where your fan is of your ESC. Now with the canopy aside, we can move on to going down the line. So we have our servo layout, just like all the new TB series is. We have the Align DS830 Metal Gear servos on cyclic, aluminum servo horns, very simplistic mount design. It's just a U-shaped servos, bolt to that, that bolts to this main plate here. You have this cover that is your transmission cover going down to your main gear that is a Darwin main gear. Two millimeter carbon fiber frame sides on the upper and lower part of the frame. I like it a lot that it's all blacked out, none of that white trim around the frame, it looks very clean. You have your canopy, Rubber protectors here, an Align PL750MX motor, plenty of power on 6S. It is a belt driven pulley system. So from the motor itself, you have a pulley with a belt to your main pulley here that goes down to a gear that goes to your main gear and then down to a tail belt that's driven off that same gear that's right here to your tail belt pulley tensioner spring to your tail boom. Skids, new design too on the TB. Skids are very hard one piece plastic, very strong skids with aluminum skid pipes, giving it that more traditional newer style. Hobby Wing 150 RC Pro S7 connectors are mine. And then of course we are running our telemetry line. Now the only thing that's not box stock on this model is the V-Bar Neo. This did come with a micro beast, but I did put a V-bar. Everything else is box stock. You get the hobby wing with the 6S version as well. Two piece frame designs. So you have a lower, which is sacrificial in a crash. If you hit real hard, you'll break your lower frame sides, keeping your upper all together. This is an aluminum plate that goes all the way across that your servos bolt to. There is no flex in these servo mounts. They are very rigid. If you bind the servos out, yes, they will flex but the actual mounts in the servos are very solid, moving the entire helicopter that way. Your motor is on a aluminum plate as well, and it slides back and forth with two screws on each side, and then there's also little plastic slide rails here. Now, for your fly barless mount, it is a one-piece carbon fiber here that just sandwiches into your plastic integrated pieces in the side of the frame, and there's one screw in the front very easy, it is solid, keeps it in there nice. For the tail boom, there's one aluminum clamp in the back and one plastic clamp in the front. 
is the new tail belt tensioning setup. This plastic right here will slide in and there is a screw on each side, right here and right here. And that screw right there will allow you to slide your boom in and out without the need of a tail belt tensioner or anything like that. You can just loosen your screws, tension it out with each one of these screws and tighten everything down. Very nice system. Tail servo is tucked halfway into the frame, halfway out of the frame. Tail servo is the DS835M. Again, aluminum servo mount. Carbon fiber push rod already pre-installed, which makes it very nice. I am running my own antenna mount, but it does come with a antenna. It has a 30 millimeter carbon fiber tail boom, which again, no boom supports, which is very nice on a the line. They have gotten with the times and we're going to move back to our tail casing. It is a very big and beefy. It's actually the same tail casing as the Align TB70. A lot of the parts from the 60 are the same as the 70. So you have a big beefy tail, aluminum tail grips, carbon fiber tail blades, of course, plastic pitch slider, belt driven, carbon fiber tail fin. So the tail on this TB60 is very beefy as it is for the 700. For the battery, it is a tray that slides in. You have a tab right underneath of here. This tab is what locks your battery in. You also have slide rails right here. You get a battery tray included, and this is the front lock that locks in with this tab right here. I'm running 6S6200 on this model. It slides right in, push it, it locks into place, battery is there and is not going anywhere. Now we're gonna put it on the scale, see what it weighs, ready to fly. We have a 6S6200 and we are coming in at a flying weight of eight pounds, four ounces. So not bad for a 600 size 6S machine. And again, that's with a 6200. If you put a 5,000 in, you would save some weight there too. And with no battery, we are coming in at six pounds seven ounces so that is ready to go without the battery there you guys go a quick bench comparison review on the align tb60 i think they did a great job i'm happy with where align is going i really don't like the canopy it's it's just very thin and flimsy but i like everything else about the model and i really like that they used a lot of the tb70 parts like the tail the servos the servo plate swash plate that's all tb70 stuff skids so it gives you a very big and beefy 600 that's strong, but still on the lightweight side and still flies really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little comparison review video on the TB60. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you guys don't miss a single video. Next video will be TB60 versus TB70 so you guys can see a side-by-side -side comparison. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Just remember, Patreon, PayPal are linked in every video description if you'd like to help support me. And thank you to everybody that does. Take care and have a great day.